what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here talking about several different topics in this video here again today jeepers creepers 4 and i'm certain this time it'll actually be the last time before monday so we're going to talk about jeepers creepers 4 we're going to talk about jordan pills nope we're going to talk about halloween ends once again today and we're going to talk about that new maxine movie a small tidbit about that new maxine movie that's coming from ty west and 824 in the x universe so just to jump into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn timo has admitted in a new interview that i I'll leave a link to a lot of interviews that started coming out recently that this movie is indeed connected to the other two without going into any specifics and he hasn't like outwardly said yeah this is a sequel but again going off the of stuff we've seen we know this is a sequel it's not that much of a reboot as many people think it is uh, he also talked about the creepers appearance being due to its rebirth how they wanted it to be more feral and weaker looking and yes and it indeed does look weak but it was nice to hear this from him because i don't think in the past we've heard anyone involved with the production openly admit that they had this in mind when going into the movie uh even though again going off of the images it's very clear that it was but it's nice to hear it officially from someone in the production they had a a weaker appearance in mind for the creeper i just feel that a lot of people don't believe it was necessary to see the creeper look like this because of how the parts regenerate rather quickly according to the previous installments so why not apply that quickness to him regaining his traditional strength and again i'll leave a link to the interview if you want to listen to it as well but you know i know jonathan breck has already gone out of his way to say he was not even invited or even in the know that this was happening so that alone tells me you know despite that them despite despite them wanting to have a feral look i feel like you could have done that for a short period of time and then had breck back in the role why does it have to be for a majority of the movie but again uh as someone recently just told me if you're listening you know you are different strokes for different folks but I haven't seen a single positive review for this movie either. It's been mostly mixed to negative. There hasn't been a single positive review I've come across. So as far as reviews for Jeepers Creepers 4, if you come across a positive one, send it to me on social media. I'll have my review up Monday night. But jumping into Jordan Peele's Nope, Jordan Peele has addressed the talks of a Nope extended cut recently with Collider by saying, I can neither confirm nor deny anything of the sort. It's like, oh shit oh shoot i'll say <laughs> there's been a lot of response to people sort of finding movies finding things in the trailer that aren't in the actual movie i can say i do think people will see more in the future that's kind of all i really can say that i'm hopeful so i'm all for an extended cut because again we know that there was a character named nobody who might have been important in some fashion if their scenes weren't cut you can actually see this person in the trailer walking off of what looks like the gordy's home set so perhaps the extended cut will open the door to that character and any potential film set in the same universe centered on that character. Now, like I've said in, said in the past before, one, this film was great in a lot of ways. Uh, it has some detractions for me, but overall, I would still say this was a great accomplishment for Jordan Peele, who was aiming very high with this movie. I've said before in another video regarding the talks of Nope 2, I prefer to see this universe explored in a way in which Peel just takes legends or myths and spins them like he did with UFOs here in Nope. So like the things people think they know about the Loch Ness Monster, twisting that around, you know, maybe diving into Bigfoot, twist that around. A Bigfoot movie with a twist would be the ideal thing for me. Uh, and the Loch Ness Monster, maybe some of you would be on board with that. But like the same the same way he's applied a twist with the talk of UFOs and aliens and said that, hey, that thing in the sky that you might be seeing, that's actually a living creature. That was a nice spin on the UFO discussions. So I would like to see him do that again with another myth or legend out there in the kind of like, again, Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. But you guys let me know if you want to see more from the Nope universe or if you just wanted to die off in the one and done is fine with you. Jumping into Halloween ends halloween ends total film magazine issue is out and some new images have come from that and a behind the scenes footage release as well from universal i guess now in this footage Corey is acting weird as he is shown creeping on Lori, this is just like a scene they were shooting where someone said action. And before they're saying action, you see Rohan Campbell as Corey creeping up on Lori's character. And he he scares her from what her reaction was in this footage. We see Michael wandering in the house from the footage. Lori standing in the street. And I assume this is after the kitchen brawl with Michael. So again that's i guess already telling us the outcome i mean michael could show up from behind but again there's a track title called the procession so i don't think it's 
I don't think it's possible that he survives this movie. <laughs> so again, we see glimpses of Lindsay, who I think might be working at a bar. Corey and Allison's relationship seems to be confirmed from these new steals that have been released as well. Aesthetically, this might be the best in the trilogy, and Rohan Campbell seems to be doing a wonderful job playing this disturbed boy. Now, if Halloween Ends actually bounces back and forth with an equal amount of focus on Lori and Corey and his relationship with Allison and and all that other stuff in between with Michael, this should work. It's just that Corey's narrative is what could break things, sadly, if certain decisions are made with him and Michael that could then take it down a few notches. Because aesthetically, this movie definitely looks like it's going to deliver. The score from John Carpenter definitely sounds like it will deliver. Uh, the performances, I don't see see any signs of someone delivering a bad performance yet. It's, again, those narrative decisions that might take away from it the same way narrative decisions with kills took away from kills. Although there were some bad acting moments in kills as well. Uh from what i'm recalling but that is going to be answered in full when halloween ends releases in a couple weeks on october 14th and on peacock on the same day and we all can sit around and discuss it uh till our heads blow off or blow up i meant to say so jumping into ti west and this x universe once again so ti west and a24 want to see if you have the x factor i guess because i i was sent like a press release it says ti west and a24 have issued a new online casting call for fans to be extras now this is related to you being an extra in the upcoming trilogy closer maxine which you know is a sequel to x and pearl which i'm going to see that tonight per the rules fans must reenact the final standoff between pearl and maxine both played by mia goth participants can submit their audition videos on tiktok twitter or instagram with the hashtag x casting call the deadline for all submissions is september 28th at 11 59 p.m eastern now if you want a chance to be an extra in the x universe now is your chance you can go ahead and get that going and put it up on tiktok and if you are somebody listening to this and you manage to become an extra in this universe message me and let me know the good news but if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video